Hey, welcome back to 2A Wolf. Woo! Traffic's been crazy. Interesting lake. Looks a little muddy, but it's got catfish and stuff in it. Porta potties. Cool. Want to get out and check it out. I'm gonna anchor the, the tent to the truck. <laughs> so here we go. All right, so the wind's blowing pretty good. We knew the wind was gonna be blowing a little bit, but yeah, kind of crazy. So what happened? I was playing Dorothy in Wizard of Oz. You're playing Dorothy in Wizard of Oz? <laughs> so it did pull out a ground stake on one side out of the ground, and it looks like, okay, so I was out taking pictures and video, which was part of that B-roll thing somewhere in here. And when I was coming back, um, I was probably uh, maybe only 100 yards away, and I heard her yell for me, and I'm looking, and it looked like she was trying to get something off the ground. I couldn't, I didn't understand what she was doing, and then I realized I don't even see the tent, or day tent thing. I don't even see it. So then I started realizing, okay, maybe she's wrestling with the tent. So I started running over here to find out what was going on. So what were you doing when it came <laughs> came up? When the incident happened? When the incident <laughs> happened. So the incident investigation. So what were you doing during the during the wind? So that it looks like the one thing came out and yeah. it must so it must have lifted up from this side. Yeah, it was it, went that it was, way. It was front side came that way anyways I was reading 
minding my own business. Right. And all of a sudden the tent came back at me from the side, knocking stuff over. Um, luckily this stayed up, knocking me out of my chair. And I had to hang on for dear life to the, the tent because it wanted to fly off into the lake. So, yeah, so I managed to get myself out of the tent. Oh, that's right, because these, I, I, these... While holding it... Because these pop in. Right. Well, because this wanted to go this way. Yep, that And I was sense. trying to hold on to this, and I thought, well, maybe if I close the door, it'll... It wasn't going to work. So I started popping the sides and the top, get it down on the ground so it wouldn't play parachute, and looking around it, make sure there was nothing broken, you know, that was going to be important, and just basically stood there waiting for Mark to, uh, for you to come back, and uh, yeah, I started yelling for you. Yeah, so I started, so I started looking at to see what had happened. So we were kind of using the truck as like a windbreak. Now we did know it was going to be some windy. Didn't know it was going to be this windy. Um, so we put the tent on the leeward side, on the downwind side, to use part of the truck to block some of the wind. And I put just two anchors down. And it seems like the one anchor on the one side ripped out of the ground. And that's what caused the ability for the it to ability flip. to flip up because the one on the other corner wasn't going to help. Matter of fact, if anything, it would have pulled it. So um, it broke loose anyway. Yeah. So now. I have, I sank a second anchor on the other side and strapped to that. The one that's over here, I have it strapped to the front uh, wheel of the truck. And the one behind me, you can hear once in a while doing the vibration thing. I have one strap going to the rear tire and I have another strap going to the front tire. So. And as far as the ground cover mat thing, uh, we're not even going to lay it down anyways. We, we got our shoes We folded and it stuff. up and put it away. I wasn't going to deal with that. Um, but it seems like nothing really broke. Oh, uh, so we have these pod lights, which are really the, cool. The hoopy thing broke off. So the little plastic hoopy thing that was on there, that was the only uh, casualty on this little tornado incident. I shouldn't I say think, tornado. Yeah, I think. And it got a little bit of scratches on the top. Yeah. But anyways, so it is it's semi warm today. It's not bad. I mean it's if, just the, if that wind wasn't blowing, it'd probably almost be hot. Um I just haven't taken my hoodie off yet. So I don't know, kinda crazy. But it is quiet here and um Except for the wind. Except for the wind. It is pretty quiet here. So Anyways, uh, we're gonna break for lunch. See you in a bit. Got uh, some hamburgers cooking. Yep. Too windy to start a fire, so outside. So we're just gonna pan fry some hamburgers. Yeah, have a nice dinner. Okay, so the best part of our evening that we like to have is a good game of Scrabble. Uh, we've been doing Scrabble stuff for a while and it's kind of a good challenge and it keeps the old brain going, so yeah. Oh, the dinner was good too. Nice. Okay, the wind did blow all night, and uh, the sunrise is really nice this morning. It's, I don't know, it's probably almost seven o'clock. Yeah, it's almost, it's almost seven o'clock this morning. I'm standing behind the, the pit toilet, trying to use that as a windbreak. But uh, yeah, the wind blew all night. Um, the tent made it the second time, being anchored to the truck. But cooking some breakfast during our wind storm, I guess you could say. Gonna have uh, kind of like sausage egg sandwiches. Okay, so stole one of the ideas from one of the guys on uh, on the other site. Anyways, I had a broken um, solar, uh, outdoor solar porch light thing. And so I hooked it up to the pony clamp and then I put the light up on the top of my pole up there. And it worked out pretty good. It provided, uh, provided hours of light 
So when it got dark enough, I just kind of turned it on and it just runs until it dies, I guess. But uh, yeah, it worked out really good. I liked it. Good idea. Thanks. Okay, one of the other changes we did was uh, we put that um, mosquito netting or screen or whatever you want to call it. But so I had a closure, like a screen door closure here to keep the door closed. Um, but it was going to interfere with the netting. So, and it's just Velcroed up. And there really wasn't any mosquitoes here, but we wanted to try it out. Um, I did add this to control. That way I can control the door. And not too bad. I took it off last night just because I was worried about the wind blowing too much, but so that way it holds the door open really good. So that was the other change we did. Hey, so take the time and hit that like button. Um, it's always nice. And if you have any questions, comments, concerns, put them down below. Anyway, so we're uh, we're leaving Ella Ewing. Ewing. Ella Ella Ewing. Ella Ewing. Ella Ewing uh, Lake. Um, besides the wind, uh, the next wasn't. It wasn't too bad um, for the simple fact that, uh, well, it's just the wind. Anyways, <laughs> so it wasn't too bad. So to kind of do a rating on it, um, I felt kind of safe. I, mm -hmm. There was no problems. Did you have any problems? Other than the wind? No. Other than the wind and getting mauled by a tent. <laughs> so, um, yeah, the wind was brutal. Yeah, but I won. I took it down. Continue on State Route RA for one mile. Tent Wrangler right there. <laughs> so, um, as far as safety, yeah, I don't know. They get, a, get an A. It was, it was felt very safe. Um, so, A, amenities. There's really no amenities. Um, hunting and fishing. It has a bathroom. Hunting and fishing. Um, it did have a pit toilet with toilet paper. So, uh, better than that nothing for the kids and stuff and there is some kind of cool birds and you know that type of stuff but um that was a beaver, was a beaver <laughs> in the middle of the road beaver in the middle of the road so it has wildlife uh, financial stuff supported by the state's not a problem uh environmental i uh, really didn't see any environmental stuff now we'll put a now so they had some minor trash we picked up some stuff it was around our little campsite area So anyways, uh, what we're talking about, environmental. Uh, there was some light trash around, picked up around our site. Um, I'll put a picture on here. It looks like somebody drove off the gravel road. Uh, the conservation areas, you gotta stay on the on the roads, on the gravel roads. Uh, don't be driving off, it just, tear, it just tears it up. So, um, so, you know, the overall score is probably gonna be like a C plus just for you know the amenities and stuff now as far as the cell phone uh the cell phone i think most time i got a one bar maybe two so which which is kind of sort of fine um it was just a win now it's a real small spot uh, you could probably get a little bit bigger rig it's rig set up in there and stuff we had plenty of room but um, if you're pulling a travel trailer and stuff you just have to be careful if you had a 20 foot maybe a 24 foot travel trailer you'd probably be okay you could probably get turned around in there a little bit so but not too bad uh what do you say would you go back yeah definitely for fishing so you'd go back for fishing okay yeah. um i probably wouldn't put it on my top 10 but uh, apparently people go there fishing there was somebody else that showed up so it must be good fishing for you know they said crappie and bass and catfish and stuff like that so not too bad so there you have it so anyways make sure you hit the share like and subscribe button please that would be great and if you have any questions comments or concerns please leave them down below and we'll see you next time on two a wolf